I just sharpen him up, you know? He's got all the skills that it takes. Straight punches with Babalu is what he needs because Babalu comes in wild, you know? I mean, Mike's on a 10, 11, I don't even know, 12 fight winning streak. It's time for him to, to step it up, you know, and start fighting these guys that should give him the name that he deserves, you know, out there. And I have all the confidence that he'll just pound Babalu. It's gonna be three rounds, I think, of pounding. A lot of fans are looking forward to this fight. Uh, you're a fan favorite in this one. How much pressure is this for you? Um, the whole winning streak thing, the only time that I feel the pressure is when people start asking about it. You know, I try and put another win on top of another win and focus on the, on the, the task at hand and, and not get too caught up in the, you know, this is the however many fight and, you know, win in a row and, you know, all that jazz. Because I think when guys get caught up with that, it, it does add pressure. And I just, I'm just choosing not to focus on that. And I don't need to focus on that. This next fight with Bob Lou is the, is the task at hand and it's a, it's a big test. It's going to be a test for me in, in a lot of different ways. And, I'm focusing on that right now. This fight was initially supposed to happen on, a, on another show in February. That show got pushed back, and it got pushed back like two or three times, and then this show offered to have us fight on their show, and we both kind of signed them, uh, I think, somewhere around the same week with, this, with Affliction. Finally, the fight's gonna happen in, in July when it was supposed to happen in February, so it's been a long time coming. I've known about this fight for since last year. So this Affliction band fight is quickly becoming one of the most talked about fights of, of the year, not only for the main card, but because the UFC has decided to have a last minute fight. How do you feel about that? I obviously wish that they hadn't done it, you know, because that takes, in a way it takes, you know, money and food off my table because there, there are going to be some people that watch the UFC instead of, the, instead of the Affliction show now. And that's just, you know, that sucks for me. I know that it's not anything personal that Diftitas or Dana's doing to me, but I'm not focusing on any of that. I just, I'm focusing on my task at hand, and these last, like, four weeks, I just really get tunnel vision and, and just focus on what I have to do, and everything else just kind of doesn't matter.